Welcome to Historic Wonders, where today we delve into the profound depths of China's cultural revolution, exploring its background, tragedies, and lasting aftermath. In 1958, Mao Zedong launched the Great Leap Forward, ambitiously aiming to catapult China into industrial modernization. This plan sought to transform an immense peasant population into an industrial workforce. With efforts like producing steel in backyard furnaces and collectivizing agriculture on a massive scale. Contrary to the glowing official reports, the grim reality was one of forced labor, disastrous agricultural practices, and unrealistic production quotas. Another bizarre yet catastrophic aspect of this era was the Four Pests campaign, which aimed to eliminate pests by killing off sparrows among other species. Believing sparrows were a major pest-consuming grain seeds, Mao ordered the extermination of millions, resulting in the death of over 200 million sparrows. Ironically, this led to ecological imbalance, allowing locust populations to explode without their natural predator, further devastating crops and exacerbating the famine. A dire misstep contributing to the deaths of tens of millions. As a result of the disastrous outcomes of the Great Leap Forward, Mao was compelled to step down from his primary leadership position. Citing health reasons, he handed power to Liu Shaoqi and Deng Xiaoping, two successors he had previously trusted and retreated to a less prominent role in government. As Mao's trusted successors ascended to power, they began openly criticizing his failed policies. This growing dissent among his closest allies, including Liu Shaoqi and Deng Xiaoping, highlighted the flaws in Mao's approaches, which further marginalized him within the political landscape. Feeling threatened by the success and popularity of his critics, Mao plotted a dramatic return to Chinese politics. In a powerful display, Mao swam across the Yangtze River in 1966, symbolizing his enduring vitality and leadership. This event was not merely a stunt, it was a strategic move to bolster his image. Mao officially launched the Cultural Revolution shortly after his swim. This political campaign aimed to purge the Communist Party of bourgeois influences and deviants from Maoist principles. This move was designed to oust rivals like Liu and Deng and reaffirm Mao's unchallenged authority. The young Red Guards were mobilized to target cultural sites, historical artifacts, and intellectual elites, leading to widespread chaos and destruction. In the process, traditional Chinese culture was largely destroyed, with many aspects now irrecoverable. Today, China is seen externally promoting a narrative that many cultural practices adopted by neighboring countries, even those deeply embedded and transformed by local customs, are derivations of Chinese culture. It seems that this aggressive cultural assertion is reminiscent of the Red Guard's tactics during the Cultural Revolution, a direct or indirect consequence of the self-inflicted cultural wounds from that era. The tumult of the Cultural Revolution continued until Mao's death in 1976. This decade-long upheaval was characterized by severe persecution, significant loss of life, and the devastation of cultural heritage. Although the Chinese Communist Party officially condemned the Cultural Revolution in 1981, the cult of Mao's personality endured, leaving a profound impact on Chinese society and its historical narrative. Today, we reflect on how Mao's desperate cling to power through the Cultural Revolution reshaped China, leaving scars that continue to influence the nation's trajectory. Join us next time on Historic Wonders as we explore more pivotal moments in history that have shaped our world.